and I'm back with Boogerator Bob. This guy eats boogers, and his name's Bob, and that's all you really need to know about him. In the beginning sketch, he had a little bit of, still a little bit of saliva hanging from his lip, but as you'll probably see later in it, I uh, covered that up and kind of just took that away because I was like, well, you're putting saliva on too many of these. It's just looking silly at this point. But I really like the lip, I, his bottom lip I gave him. He almost has like a prehensile, kind of like apish lip. I like that. I've seen some uh, other bigger, more idiotic characters in comics drawn, and sometimes they give them those. And I always thought that looked cool. I, always, I also think he kind of came out looking like, what was that? In Fallout 3, there was a DLC for it. What was it called? Point Lookout? And one of the um like big radioactive hillbilly guys kind of looked like him. I think it was the biggest one that you could like fight off against. It, uh, so I, was like, I thought he looked pretty cool. kind of liked him because he came out looking that way. Unintentional, but it's pretty neat. This one took me a bit longer to do and put together an edit, not because it was that good or it was near as complicated as the last one I did. This video ain't nowhere near as long. But I'd watched Terrifier 1 and 2 for the first time the other night, and I was like, oh my god. So I had to go back and watch them each one again, so that's kind of eating up quite a bit of my time. I didn't put any hair on this guy. I had a version of him with hair that I started, started to do, but I kind of liked how he looked better with just this big weird shaped bald head, so I just kind of went with that in the end. Originally, when I sat down to draw this, I was thinking of the Toxic Avenger, and I looking at him now, I can see he kind of really came out kind of looking like the Toxic Avenger, kind of having the same overall head shape. Which mainly, I was thinking about the Toxic Avenger because I would love to see him as a DLC character in Mortal Kombat 12. I'd seen some kind of online uh, article say, I think it was, I didn't even read it, I just looked at the comments because I was too lazy. But somebody said it was talking about like how um Ash Williams, Bruce Campbell's character from Evil Dead, wasn't going to be a DLC character for Mortal Kombat 12. And I was like, well, that sucks. And then I was like, it would be so cool to see Toxic Avenger in the uh, Mortal Kombat 12 universe. Or just as a DLC character, because the fatalities he could have would be freaking insane. After giving him the green shirt, and later on in this, I had a red background. I think it's almost about there's Yeah, it's already. I've already. It's already on here. Already did that. But that also kind of reminded me of like a weird looking Christmas elf. So maybe this guy like also eats boogers, and his name's Bob. But he could be like a Christmas elf, like you know, one saying I don't let touch none of the toys or nothing. He just keeps in the basement and feeds the other elves too if they get too wily and ask too many questions. Like, if they don't add, you know, if he gets word that they've not sent batteries in with, you know, the kids' Christmas presents. And this guy's probably getting to eat a lot of elves because, like, nobody hardly ever remembers to put batteries in there. Of course, I don't know if Santa Claus would have his own factory for making batteries or if he would actually, you know, just leave it to the parents. Like, this one time, I can remember when I was a kid, my mom told me that Santa Claus wasn't real. <laughs> and I was like, you're freaking crazy, you know. She, she was always trying to, you know, just mess with me. I realized I've sat here and talked about everything, but anything to do with me drawing this. I really like how this guy's eyes came out, especially his big blue one, because if you look, there's just nothing in there. It's just just barren fields, wastelands, TV static. This, this, this man has no thoughts. Of course, if you look like this guy does, it's probably best to keep your mind as blank as possible, because looking in the mirror and seeing that every day, good lord, I'd, I'd give you something to tell your therapist about. I mean, most of the characters I draw don't look very bright, but this guy right here, he's really taking the cake. He is, because, I don't know, this poor, poor creature. But we're nearing the end of this video, and I'm still trying to get all this worked out, figuring out exactly how I want this channel to go, what I want it to be. So, hopefully just hang in there, and we'll have something worthwhile in the end. Right now, this is all just kind of, experimental throwing stuff at the wall and kind of seeing what sticks 
hopefully in the future I can come up with some cooler characters, more unique characters. Right now I'm just kind of brainstorming, trying to figure out what to what to do and what to deal with and what people might like to see. I mean, I like seeing weird looking people or monsters like this, but I know other people like that's out there, but you know, that's that's just personally that's me though. I mean, when I was in high school art class, I had a lot of art teachers just look at me like, why are you this way? And I was like, I don't know. And here we go. We're at the end. So see you guys later.